Hey, good morning, everybody. Mark again, Air Weatherman Plus. It is Wednesday, December 9th, so I hope you have a great hump day today. God bless every single one of you. Start your day off right. God loves you. Amen. Uh, we have a big snowfall that's going to be coming soon, and we do have snow in the Northeast and Midwest also, but I think that the main thing, because everybody else is used to snow up here, over here in the South, we're going to get a bigger snowstorm, and this is about five days away. Uh, maybe a little sooner, but it is going to be a lot of snow even for Mississippi, so that's that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, now, as we start on, I'll, I'll show you about all the times and dates. Now, this morning, we're going to have a couple of inches that's going to hit in the northeast. Now, this is literally 30 hours away. In the purple spot right there, that's going to be about six inches. That's not much. It's not really a bright purple, but about six inches. That's probably lake effect snow that's hitting that. We have a couple pockets uh, that we'll see a little bit of snow. We're talking western, uh, let's see, uh, western New York and north northwest New York. So, but that's not the one I'm talking about. That's just what we're going to get real quick. We also get some uh, way up in the top, about one to two inches. But y'all used to that, okay? Y'all used to that little bit of snowfall. But as we know, in a few days, and this is on Saturday, uh, on December 12th, we'll get a couple more inches that'll be going through Illinois, Iowa two to three inches a little bit of snow it will get up to about six to eight inches as you can see when it gets to about saturday on the 12th and that's in uh, northwest illinois also eastern iowa and up to eight inches that's a nice bit of snow uh, michigan is going to get a, a good bit of snow as well they're going to get up to 10 to 12 inches uh, mostly for around detroit now this is on the 13th this is on sunday on the next day that still isn't the big snowfall that I'm, that I'm talking about. I know everybody else that made a video on this. Y'all pretty much know what's going on with that. But if you look by next Monday on December 14th, we literally have that southern trough that's coming down. And it's going to bring real cold temperatures. And there is precipitation. If you remember last week, I said if we get precipitation with that, that low freeze, we might have a chance. And it looks like it is going to happen. So Mississippi and about... Uh, five days is about six, almost six days out. You're going to get six inches, up to six inches pockets of snow for northern Mississippi. And the rest of it is going to see one to three inches, which is a pretty exciting thing. And as, as it goes across the East Coast, you can see it's going to give it Tennessee. It's going to give it a lot of inches, lots of snowfall. And you see up to 11, 12, 13 inches for there. I even saw a pocket that had 20. As you see, it goes across uh, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia. And then it goes out 15 inches. I'll show you the bigger snowfall. That's a lot of snow, and that's very lot of snow for the south as it goes across. So let me take you through it real quick. So here it is for the first snowfall we have in about 72 hours. You can see the, the amount that we have for Iowa, Illinois, uh, or Iowa and Wisconsin. Wisconsin's getting a little bit, but it looks like most of it's going to be in northern Illinois. Uh, six to eight inches. This is on Sunday on the 13th, it is going to start moving in uh, by Saturday. But the heaviness will be in northern Illinois. It would be in, e in eastern uh, Iowa. Also in Michigan. Michigan is going to get a lot of snowfall. Your heaviest point is going to be by Sunday, late Sunday on the 13th, up to 12 inches in some spots. So that's going to be a lot of snowfall. It's a pretty good bit. Now as far as the one that's going to hit the south, now, we're talking as early as Monday, December 14th. It's going to start getting a couple inches of snow in Mississippi, and then it's going to burst up to six inches as it moves towards the east. Now, that snow is going to stick around to about Tuesday, Tuesday evening, so you'll have it for a little while, so it's not just an overnight uh, thing. Now, as you can see, Tennessee gets hit with a good bit also. So does Alabama. Alabama gets seven to eight inches. You even got a spot up to almost 11 right there. But we'll see that as it gets closer. But as it moves to the east, South Carolina, I'm sorry. It looks like y'all are missing out on that snowfall. Uh, but it is going to go all around, y'all. But here's a better look at you for Tennessee. Uh, Kentucky, you're getting some of that, plus everybody else. And you can see northern Alabama, 11 inches. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Now, if you want your look for South Carolina and North Carolina, here's the heaviest parts. And you'll see that you'll get up to 20 inches of snow. Now, this is for northern uh, Virginia and southern West Virginia. There's a pocket that can get up to 20 
inches of snowfall. That is a lot of snow. And it's going right around South Carolina. And I know some people that want to see some snow down there. So I'm sorry, it don't look like it's going to hit you. Now, it is a few days away, so maybe there's a possibility this could track a little further east, but I don't see it turning into snow for it because usually when a system's uh, going like that, it's pulling the cold air down and it's pulling the warm air up from all the, the uh, ocean and the gulf. So it's not going to be frozen on the east side of the storm. It's just on the west side when it's pulling the cold air down. That's why you're not getting out of that right there. So, but it is going to be a heavy snowfall, even up to 13 inches uh, for Virginia. So this is going to be quite an exciting storm. Now here's your look for the, for the rest of the East Coast that you can see where it goes. And that is a lot. I can't get over that 20 inches. That's, that's a big pow. As it goes towards Maryland and goes off to the East Coast. Uh, now this, when it moves in, this is going to be on the 18th on Monday for y'all. And then it's going to start being big. And really getting really big, and, and then while it gets to the, uh, I'm sorry, that's the 14th, Monday the 14th. And when it starts getting to about the 15th is when it gets really heavy. I'm talking early morning for, for, North, for Virginia and West Virginia. And then it tracks off to the east and goes out, but it's a pretty good storm. Uh, another thing I want to bring up real quick is Florida. Y'all going through a frost advisory this morning, and this is going to be for the next seven hours before it gets above 45 uh, the reason why I say that, because as you know, uh, these iguanas, uh, they all freeze it up when you get below 45 degrees. And it looks like it reaches pretty far south. So a lot of y'all going to see a lot of uh, frozen iguanas on the ground. So please, I mean, you will have a warm up to 60 degrees today. Uh, but, but please, for the next few hours, just uh, don't, don't, don't hurt them by accident or not dead. Uh, I got a couple videos. I'll put them in the link. Uh, so you can watch them if you want, but they act like they're dead, but they're not really dead. They're just frozen. Y'all know how this happens, but some don't. Uh, but they, they will come back as soon as it gets above 45 degrees. So please, whatever you do, do not hurt them iguanas. I, I would appreciate it. Uh, they also advise that you don't pick up the iguanas because uh, it could be some uh, bad out outcomes from that. But if you check this out, even this big one, he acts like a little puppy dog for the man. I'll put a link, of course, in the description so you can watch this as well. thought it was pretty cool. He had a pet iguana so big like a dog. It was pretty wild. But I'll put a link in the description so y'all can watch that as well. So God bless you all today. Hope y'all have a great day. That's going to be some snowstorm when it comes. I remember when I was in Louisiana, it was about every 10 years we might get two or three inches of snow. But, man, one inch of snow. The whole state was closed down. That was it. <laughs> we just not prepared for it. All right, well, let me go through what we have today, because today is Matthew 20. And I really love Matthew. It's a great chapter. So God bless you all. I hope you have a great day. I mean, I can't, I can't say that enough. I love the wintertime. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is in householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they all went there right away. Again he went out ab about the sixth hour and ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle and saith unto them, why stand ye here all the day idle? They said unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall re ye receive. So, so when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto this, his steward, Call the laborers, and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came, that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, These last have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. 
Didst thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine is and go thy way. I will give unto this last even as, as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I do with mine own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first and the first last. For many be called, but few chosen. And Jesus going up to Jerusalem took the twelve disciples apart in the way and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem and the Son of Man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death and shall deliver him to the Gentiles to mock and to scourge and to crucify him. And the third day he shall again, he shall rise again. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons, worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What wilt thou, she saith, she saith him, grant that these my two sons may sit, the, the one on the right hand, and the other on the left in thy kingdom. But Jesus answered and said, Ye know what ye not ask. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of, and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They say unto him, We are able. And he saith unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left, is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. And when the ten heard it, they were moved with indign indignation against the two brethren. But Jesus called them un unto him and said, Ye know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them, and that they are great exercise authority upon them. But it shall not be so among you. For whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And, so, and whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. And as they departed from Jericho, a great multitude followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside, when they heard that Jesus passed by, cried out, saying, have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. And the multitude rebuked them because they, sh they, sh they should hold their peace. But they cried the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. And Jesus stood still and called them and said, What will ye that I shall do unto you? They say unto him, Lord, that our eyes may be open." So Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great Wednesday today. It is beautiful weather outside. And if you're getting some of that snow, let me know, because it is going south. So it's going to be a few days away. So there's a possibility it could go even further south. So that's what I'm kind of hoping on, seeing everybody else get some more snow as well. Have a great day, guys. All glory does go to God.